Welcome back! We're here at this Maiden's Feast thing, where apparently this, uh, Mog Chothra creature is going to come and eat one of the girls here. Which is not good. Let's see if we can talk to one of them and stop this. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate! Aww. I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No! Me! Sheesh. How can you guys be so eager to do this? Can we get... Why don't you come over here and give me a ride? Yeah, I want to get on that, on that bird thing. Let's see, do we have anything in our inventory? We got a knife. Um, can we cut this whole thing off? I could cut myself out of this dress. But without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. Oh, there he is. Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? I clicked on him, but he didn't really respond or anything. One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Maybe if we throw the dish towel at the bird. Hmm. Not working. Hmm. Maybe if we got the knife? So far, Mog Chothra hasn't shown up yet, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, the sun's coming up, though. Uh, I don't know if I like this. I don't want to stab that bird. Uh, drumstick? You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chothra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Maybe we can get that drumstick and attract the bird with it. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Come on. You should always bring your towel with you, right? How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half the satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Okay, um, what about this? Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. I cannot believe these girls. This is, this is incredible. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Okay, birthday cake. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. What about you? Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chothra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh-oh. I don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound. I hear him. Look, there he is. Oh man. What in the world? So do we have no choice? Like is there no way out of this? We have to see this. Eh, that's one word for him. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here! No! This way, Great One! I am the one you've come so far to find! Kinda looks like over Cthulhu. Here. I am in blue for you. See? He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then after some careful consideration... <gasps> no! Now can we have the drumstick? 
Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Um. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. Okay, so we need to Just get her something trade. bubbly. This. We need to get this. Whoop. He's coming for more. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh. What a relief. I feel so much. Whoa. I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. No. Okay, it's just down to three now. That's right. How about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best assets from Mark Charter. He'll be looking for a full size meal after a long trip. He's not over. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best assets. Okay, that's not going to work. All right. Let me try this again. Awesome. Okay. So he's gonna eat everybody? I thought he would just eat like one. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well thanks. Don't mind if I Hey, where's my drumstick? Something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Towel. We got a towel. I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? See? Told you towels come handy. No! Oh. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Oh. No. No. Are you part vulture or something? Come on. I, I want to ride. Ah. Come on. So close. How do I do this? How can you think about food at a time like this? I don't want to stab Oh, wait, there he is. He was I just right there. To get out of here. Oh yeah. And also, I lose my knife. Here, birdie. Oh, come on. So close. There. Here, no. Uh, okay, let me think about this for a minute. I, 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 w I don't want to get eaten or anything. I don't know if this is like timed or something or if you'll die here if you take too long. So let me think about this. The bird's right here. The drumstick's right there. I can't grab the drumstick. So wait, do I use the... Let me see if I can use the, uh, the knife on the dress again. That might work. I don't want to stab that bird. I no. still need her to get out of here. Oh, I was yeah. trying to... So, I'd lose my knife. Ah, okay, so that's not gonna work. I can't, I can't interact with this. I don't think I can interact with Mog Chothra either, unless... Maybe, hang on. No, I can't. Wait, here we go. It's not long enough. Ah, what else have we got? The corset? That drumstick is so greasy, it would slip right off. Gotcha. There we go. Those big blue wings. Just a little bit harder. Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. Come on. It's hard to tell. What Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. Now what do we do? Do we use the knife? I don't want to stab that bird. I still need her to get out of here. Here you go. How about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy bird! Yes! But he already got four others. Yes. Woo. 
we made it. You know, if this wasn't timed, they really did a good job making it look like, you know, we were in danger there. Wee! You know, I know I've said it before, but I love the art style in this game. It really does look like a storybook. Ah, this music. This music's amazing. Hey, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just standing on one of your friends. Where are we going, I wonder? bird go? Oh, there he is. Or, I guess it's a she. Interesting, so we've discovered some sort of village here in the clouds. That's cool. I wonder who these people are. Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. Well, it doesn't look like a real tree, but it looks like it might be a compass or something. You a friend of Jesse's? Whoa, 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 whoa. You birds want to help me kill Mog Chothra? Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Hi there. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe. We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. That's a cool job. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Actually, I kind of do want to stay here. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mob Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. You guys have a Maiden's Feast too? Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mob Chathra instead of feeding it. Yeah. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mob Chathra. Well, he kind of, you know, eats people and stuff. Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Mom? Hmm. I might want to talk to her. I need to get to Mog Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shellmound. Hmm. Well, they. Oh, Shellbound's a different place. I was gonna say the the ones in our place already got eaten. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shellmound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. 
Shell mound girls smell like old seaweed. <laughs> I love all the lore that they're establishing for this world. It's just so bizarre and yet so amazing. I love it. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jesse? Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh. oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why? Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Okay, looks like we might need to find this Gus person. So we've got Gus, we got this brother Lightbeard that uh, sounds interesting. We've got uh, the mom here, which uh, I'll probably also want to talk to her as well. Can you tell me about brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Sounds like this Brother Lightbeard might be a cult leader or something. Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Yeah. Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyle, <laughs> chip. Sorry, Pop. All right, well, it's good to make some new friends. Um, let's go here to this place, Cloud Shoes. Careful. Ah. Is this the mom? I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. <laughs> I love these names up here. That Okay, I know I keep saying I love X and I love Y and everything, but it's true. I, mean, I, I love just these random you know, pieces of lore that they're inserting into this world to make it that much more unique. It's just so interesting to me. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? So they are- she is the mom, then. I think they're gonna hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut. But I let my husband have his hobbies. Okay, so now we're finding out more about this Lightbeard guy. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Hmm. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are since I lost my knife. That's a good point. 
Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. Literally, right? You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about them. Wait, I know this. Area. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Yeah, we kind of noticed that. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Can we get some of those cloud shoes? I noticed that was an option there a minute ago. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Oh, well, good point. I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Let's see, do we still have that knife? No, we don't have anything. Okay. Well, maybe we can find the knife. Let's see. It looks like we can go here, here, or here. Three different choices, but we'll have to pick one in the next video.